Okay, so now we're gonna head upstairs. Once you're on the very first stairway, we are going to use this photograph on top of this blank space on top of this headless body here. Now we're going to click open and make sure you take the chest piece that's there. Now continue up the left hall. You want to use the study key on the door. We're just going to head on inside. You want to make sure that you take this chest piece here. You're going to take the film and then you're going to use the computer. Now, if you look at this note, it says that it's a password reminder. It pretty much says that he finds his password in the bathroom. So now that you have that clue, we're going to move and we're going to leave. Now we're going to head into our room. You're going to want to be careful here. You want to open the nightstand. You don't want to sleep in the bed, so don't go to sleep. You're going to take the games out of here. So I'm going to take all these dirty clothes. And we're going to go into the bathroom. Now you're going to want to turn on the water, and on the sink, you're going to want to turn on the water. So there's the password. We're going to turn off the water. You want to want to open the drawer and take out this hand mirror. Now you can throw the dirty clothes down the laundry chute or you can use the dirty clothes in the washer. Okay, so now that you have the dirty clothes, you're going to use them. You're going to throw them down this chute. So I'm going to go into the guest room. It's up to you whether you want to go into the guest room or go back the other way. I'm going to go into the guest room. Okay, you're going to want to open this closet. Now you've opened another portal. You're also going to want to open this dresser. We're going to take the film. And then we're going to look at the toys. A big robot's going to come in your face. Now this is where you're going to want to use the dish soap. Now that he's fallen flat, we're going to use our screwdriver on his back and we're going to take his batteries. Now we're going to go back out into the hall. I'm going to open this door just so it's open and we're going to go back into dad's room. Now that we have the password for dad's computer, we're going to use it. Now we're going to click on music. You can do a bunch of other things like photo. It'll teach you how to use the photo lab. Chess, it'll teach you about chess. But right now what's important is the music. So now that we have the search bar open, we're going to go and we're going to find our cassette tape. You're going to use it on the search bar. And you're going to download it. now we're gonna leave. Now we're gonna go back down to the foyer. All the way down. Now if you've spoken to this ghost that you know he wants to hear a song. So now you're gonna find your phone, you're gonna click use, and you're gonna click on the young boy.
and now he vanishes. So this allows you access to your parents' room now. So we're gonna head up the stairs and we're gonna go into your parents' room. Now your parents' room is in the right hall, somewhere we haven't been yet. And we're going to go in. You'll want to open the closet here. That will open another portal for you. And we're just going to move into the portal. Now you've opened every possible doorway in this portal. This is the basement. Um, one of these is the laundry room here. Every room that you opened a portal, that's where it is. You'll get the achievement once you've done that. You have to open them all and then visit it to get the achievement. You're going to want to take this film and then go back where you came from. I'm not sure which door that was, so we're just going to go in any one and see what happens. Okay, so now that you've done that, we've gotten our achievement. We're going to open the window. Now this is where you need that container. Now you're going to take this container, you're going to use it, and you're going to use it on the saliva. Alright, we need that. So just go back, you, there's nothing else you can do. You do need this chest. When it says open, it says that you'll need a combination. So we're going to leave because you can't get that right now. Okay, so we're going to open this. We're going to go inside. This leads to the attic. Now, if you've ever tried to go in the attic before, there are two things that you need. The step ladder, and once you try to use the step ladder and you try to go in, the walls close in on you and you will die. So, this is why we needed the saliva. You're going to use the screwdriver and we're going to bust open this pipe. Now you're on a timer, so you want to hurry. You're going to use the saliva on the monster blood. Okay, so now it's turned into some gray stone. That will prevent the walls from closing in on you. Now you're going to want to grab your stepladder and put that here. Now we're going to open the hatch, pull down, and we're going to go inside. You're going to grab the little hand mirror that you grabbed from the bathroom, and you're going to use it on this mirror. And then make sure you grab this Goosebumps book. And that's all you need from up here. We're going to leave now. Here comes your brother. So I'm going to ask him if our parents are monsters. He's going to tell you that he thinks that they've been lying and that he's not even their son. Okay, so he's gonna ask you to go get the birth certificate. He gives you the password for the chest upstairs in your parents' room. So we're gonna go back upstairs and we're gonna grab that. He's just trying to prove that he's really not their son. We're gonna open the trunk, we're gonna search it, and then it'll just take the birth certificate and now we're gonna leave. We're gonna go back down to the stairway. Okay, so before you talk to him, go back through the archway. Go back into the den, and then head for the laundry room.
Now, you see something glowing here, we're going to search for it, and it's going to be a creepy ass mask. Now we're going to go back through the house, and we're going to speak to Chad. Now you're going to use your birth certificate, and give it to your big brother. He's upset because he finds out that he is actually related to your parents. So he left to go towards the car. We're going to leave too. You're going to talk to him. You're going to tell him let's go. And then you're going to want to head back to the school. Now that you're at the school, we're going to go back into the woods. Back up the path. And this time we're going to go to the right. Before you do that, you're going to want to put on this mask. Once you put it on the second time, you are not going to get it off. So make sure you'll be on a timer and you will die if you reach the end of the timer. You do get an achievement once you reach the mall with the mask. And you also get an achievement when you talk to the beast that's in here with the mask. So I'm going to show you the second alternative. You're right next to the mall though, so you can put on the mask and then go and talk to the beast, go back to your brother, get him to drive you to the mall. And then I'll show you what to do if you have the mask on when you're at the mall. You are gonna wanna use the mask at some point in time to talk to this beast to get the achievement. So I'm gonna go through, I'm not wearing the mask. You can put it on for the second time and then talk to him and he will be scared of you and run away. You can also give him the shrunken head. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on the mask when I get to the mall. But if you want the achievement for scaring him with the mask, you need to be wearing it. Okay, so either way that you choose, he will run away. You're gonna wanna use your spade on this broken up earth here. And you're going to need to take this security card. Now you're going to go back to the school and back to your brother. Now you're going to talk to him and ask him to take you to the mall. So I'm going to go on to the entrance. And as you can see, there's a security guard through the window here. You can click on the door and click listen. You're going to press your ear against the glass. You're going to hear him tell a story. He's going to tell you about the security card that we already dug up that you need. But you need to use your security card on the reader. That allows you to get inside the mall. I'm going to enter in the mall really quickly. You want to look for his shadow on the ground. First time he kicks you out nicely. The second time he will kill you. Now that his shadow's gone, we're going to go back inside. <laughs> 